Alright guys, uh, I'm still waiting on parts for the facade to come in, so I guess today's goal is going to try to see what I can figure out on the motor, on the Polaris, um, see if I can get sparks to go, see if I can get spark to the spark plugs, and um, if I can do that, then maybe I can possibly see if I can get it running, and uh, if I can get it running, then I can make a little bit of a quick cash on there to see um, see if I can get the other one working. So let's go ahead and get started on this. What I'm doing here is a continuity test. Basically, I'm making sure that the engine is actually getting ground. You can hear that beeping noise. That's basically telling me that I'm getting ground. So that's definitely not the issue. So there's no power getting to the coil. Almost starting. Is uh, was backfiring. Kind of starts, which is a good thing, right? Um, I'm starting to get spark now. Um, kind of want to run, but not really. 
Maybe the feel's bad or maybe I can run some cleaner here. Um Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But at least getting sparked yeah. it backfired like crazy though. I don't think all the fuel is burning off. Running better. Couple of back tires. Maybe it run a little bit better. Oh, it's exactly idling. Huh? guys um, I wanted to get I wanted to try to get the uh, jet ski idling today and uh, I bought some fresh fuel and um, in order to get it to idle hopefully I can get it to idle and hope and once I do I'll need to run water through it so that way um, the crankcase doesn't mess up and uh, so I basically made this I mean I could have bought it for cheaper online but then um the thing i didn't like about the ones that they sold online was you know you had no you, you could only control the water at the faucet and where the jet ski is and where the faucet is is pretty far at my house um so what i wanted so what i went ahead and did was bought a couple of fittings right here And this is a valve that could put, turns the water on and off. And um, so what this does is it allows me to control the water flow at the jet ski. So I can run water, have it on already, and once it idles, I can just slip on the valve and the water will start flowing. Uh, this ends up costing a little bit more, but I mean, once everything, once I bought everything, um, it came out to like $35 because I had to buy the hose, the fittings, and then these right here, the little clamps. Um, the actually, what made it more expensive was actually the hose and the clamps because the clamps were 7 bucks, the hose was like $11. I mean, just those two items alone made it kind of expensive, but other than that, everything else was cheap.
as you can see, the jet ski didn't quite run today. Uh, I was hoping that putting some fresh fuel in there would get the jet ski running. You know, yesterday I was able to run the tank dry. It actually ran and idled for a few seconds at a time. Since I didn't know how old that fuel was in there, I thought that putting some fresh fuel in there might actually help things. But as you can see today, it didn't really make much of a difference. In fact, I, I couldn't even get it to idle at all today. Uh, so I guess the next step will be to take those injectors off to make sure that they're actually pushing fuel through the injectors properly. Uh, the only other thing, the only other thing is, uh, is to try to figure out why I'm not getting a proper compression reading. If it was actually zero compression, you know, yesterday it wouldn't have started at all. So that's why I'm thinking you know, there's something up with the the fitting. Maybe uh, it's, it's not getting it's not getting the proper pressure reading. Cause if it was zero pressure, it wouldn't have even started at all. And on top of that, uh, zero pressure would mean I wouldn't feel any pressure building up inside the wall when when I was cranking it. So, you know, that will be the next step. If I get this jet ski to idle. Uh, odds are I'm just going to shelve it for now and maybe try focusing on the other jet ski. Uh, I know that jet ski is just going to need a new motor straight up. Maybe I could find a, a 750 in there and, and drop it in there and get it running and sell it. Because I'm thinking it might be better for me to sell that jet ski since it has a title. And um, I have a new idea for that Polaris, assuming I can get it running. But... Yep, I guess that's it for now, and uh, I guess stay tuned for...